What is happening, Dark Horse Sports Cards fans, viewers, everyone out there, YouTube, welcome to another video. That was a weird intro. I don't know what I just did there. I liked it. But we're going to go with it. We're back with Silver Sage. We've got another bro show. I don't know what you guys are calling it in the <laughs> comments. You're calling it something. The bro, I think they're calling it the bro show. But we'll, we'll go with it. Uh, fun rip today. Let me adjust this light just a little bit here, please, Sage, real quick. Let me pull this up. Get this. Sorry. I did not. There. I'm liking what I'm seeing. That, prism. That, That's yeah, my we favorite. We are back in the prism. And uh, as you can see, the difference here, Sage, this is a blaster. We've been opening a lot of these. These are the Megas. Right. These came in from Walmart actually pretty quickly. These sold out very fast, very quick. Um, and we were luckily, lucky enough to get a couple of them. So we're going to rip two of these today to show you guys. I don't, do you want to look up what these are reselling for right sure. now, Sage? A Prism Mega Box 2023 basketball. My guess, $70 is what they're selling for. Sorry, I just bumped you guys. Apologies. $70 on uh, the second hand would be what my guess is. I could be way off though. You might be. Let's see. I, might, I, might, I could be low or I could be high actually. I'm not really quite sure what I'm gonna be. But we're gonna have uh, 10 cards per pack, five packs for a total of 50 cards in this box. And we're gonna be looking for 10. That's right, 10 mega box Wait. Exclusive. Wait a sec. Don't, o prison. don't open these. They're selling for 120. Let's just flip it. Oh my God. They're selling for $120. That's the cheapest buy it now, right now, that I can see. 129. 129. Buy it now. So I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not what we do here, Sage. Come on. You already know. We're here to rip. We rip these bad boys. Uh, okay, so 10 pink ice prisms, four silvers, and we're also looking for autographs as well. Here is the back so you can kind of see all the stuff. Really not that much numbered cards here, Sage. You can really only pull the prism teal ice, which is going to be numbered to 225. Uh, we're, we're, we've got some Monopoly back here too. And the difference in the amount of number cards you can pull in here is is quite uh, quite alarming. It's very different. But you got pen, penmanship. Those are going to be your autographs. Um, and then you also, the other thing here that I want you to see, Sage, the glitter. Oh, I don't know if you want to look up what a Wimby glitter is going for, but that is probably the biggest pull we can get since Wimby doesn't have autographs in here. I'm thinking the Wimby glitter is the chase that's what everyone is after in these megas i'm looking up the teal ice for wimby and i don't even see anything on there so it hasn't been pulled yet no one's even pulled a teal ice wimby there's well there's only 225 so it's not a crazy uh crazy thought that no one's pulled them but i think we i think we jump into these and uh, let's see what we can pull. Ten cards per pack. Yeah. We're going to open two of these Megas, which I think I only paid $55 for these, Sage. Wow. So we're opening $110 worth of product. Yeah, after 10. But if you yeah, really think about it, yeah. we, might, we might be opening 250 if you uh, think about it that way. I right? love it. Of potential. All right, we have, all right, we have a lot. I'm not quite sure what we have going on. Oh, my on gosh. Here. Remind me is that like all backwards cards? I don't know. Remind me to tell you a little mellow ball story after after you get through here. After I get through these seven, I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt thing? this pack. But there's not a single what glitter. Is going on? There's not a single Wimby glitter out there either. Okay, Jason. Okay, maybe just all the pink ice are. Oh my. Okay, this card is disgusting. Woo wee. This is the pink ice. We only get 10 of these. These can't all be pink ice. No. All right, there's the Jason Tatum pink ice. Colby Jones is going to be our rookie pink ice in this pack. That's sick. Then we have, ooh, we have a nice Brandon Pod, Podzimski, I believe. <laughs> this is a 
this guy uh this guy's been balling out of control nice silver on the emergent there then we have a instant impact of brandon miller oh. who also been balling out of control yes this is uh the sil uh, is this the green i guess is there green on there it definitely looks green. It might just be green. But what I'm learning quickly is that none of oh, these cards green, yeah. none of these cards are on eBay yet is what I'm learning quickly. And then our two base rookies. Okay. So that looks like what the uh, the format will be. It will be two backwards cards will be your pink ice and your silver or your insert. And then the two backwards cards on the back will be your rookies is what I'm thinking the idea. You don't see anything on there? I see no Brandon dice? Miller on auction, new listing, just went up, and it's a green rookie. So I don't know if they have a non-green one. It's the same instant impact. So they might all be green. Okay, we're going to pull the rookies on the back first. Kevin, uh, that's actually not a rookie. Um, okay, so you get one rookie on the back, I guess, and then one non-rookie. That's going to be our rookie, Joey Hauser. I think Wimby rookies, Sage, are still going for like $80. Let me check. Right now, base. I know those are out Which here. Is, I think nobody wants yeah. to sell their Wimbies on eBay right away because they want to see what the market is. Amari Bailey. We have a Jet Howard. Bradley Beal is going to be one of our silvers there. All right. Gator. Ooh. Halliburton. We have a Tyrese Halliburton on the pink ice and a Max Strauss, Strauss, uh, Struss on the pink ice. These cards look disgusting, Sage. Yeah. The pink ice is so nice. I'm loving the pink ice. I can, I can say it twice. All right. We got three packs left. Only five packs. So it definitely is kind of a quick rip. Searching for the base is dif more difficult now with all these Monopoly bases. So I got to. Oh, no, Monopoly. You know I love Monopoly, though, Sage. Don't say Yeah, but it makes it. it hard to find the comps of the non Monopoly. <laughs> you just got to do the, do the minus Monopoly. Yep, thing. that's what I did, and now I'm seeing all do these. That, uh, do that draft sneaky picks. trick. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Bojan. Lakers. Max Christie. Is going to be another silver. Timberwolves. All right, the cheapest one's about $105 still on the base, Wimby. Unbelievable. Oh, it's over $100. Yep. Jeez. There's All one. Right, no rookies on the back there. There's one that's at $69. I'm not counting it because it says read description, lines, lines. Oh. <laughs> so it's, da it's damaged. <laughs> My dog unfortunately got a hold of this card. Yeah. There are bite marks <laughs> on it. All right. Got here it. we go. Donovan Mitchell, Vince Carter, Vince Sanity, Magic Johnson, Kyrie Irvin. He had a sick game winner against Denver with opposite hand. James Wiseman is going to be. Ooh. Oh. Oh, 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 yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. I thought I saw that. Brandon Miller on the pink ice. That is our best pull by far uh, out of this mega box. And that's going to be our first top loader. I don't know if that, uh, Ooh. Uh, pod, that Pods Minsky might be a top loader too, actually. That silver emergent. And even this green instant impact. Um, that's a big too. card. That alone covers one of these blasters. Uh, the cheapest you can get that card is seventy five dollars right now. Ooh, I like that. We might we might grade this one though, Sage. And there's a lot of listings too. We might we might send this one in. This one looks pretty centered, top to bottom, left to right. We might grade that one. All right, we have been missing on our silver so far. Uh, Levert, and then we get another Max and a Rashawn Holmes. All right, last pack here. All right, 
Victor on the pink ice is like a eight hundred dollar card, seven hundred dollar card. Oh my gosh, my. So gosh. please, I mean, you got the other. <laughs> Brandon Miller's the next best rookie, right? I think he's number two. Yeah, yeah has to be. Uh, Jaime. I don't know. No, I, Jaime might be up there too. Yeah, no, I think Miller's think so? over Jaime. People were thinking this guy was going to be, right? Yeah. Scoot? Yeah. Cam Whitmore? Yeah. Cam Whitmore is good, too. These are nice players, but... Solid. Jalen Hood. All right, here we go. Silver, come on. Make us think about it one time, Sage. Maverick? Kyrie. Kyrie Irving? It's a nice card. Prism? Raptors? DeJounte Murray. Put on the back. So. Oh! I saw the quick... I saw the short, short name with an S and an S. <laughs> Spurs, Suns, kind of close. Uh, and uh, no rookies on the back there. All right. So one box down, already playing with house money on that first box. Yeah. Can we play with house money on the second box? I think we got like a $20 head start too on this on this one too. Yeah, that those two other cards back there are probably decent decent cards as well. I like these megas. I'm not gonna lie; these are these are gonna be hard to find in store. I, I think with how difficult it was to find. Yeah, how the did you get them? Stage, what I, was your strategy here? Fat, fast fingers. You should have gotten a thousand. I had fast fingers. We could have flipped uh, these. I think, I think you can only order three at a time, and I was able to get three of them. Nice. So I still have one more. I'm holding on to. Nice. Uh, maybe maybe we hold on to that one for ten years and flip it for. Once a we pull the victor out of this one, we know that one's gonna have trash. We sell it online to the suckers. Or we just wait until all 224 <laughs> victor teals have been pulled, but there's one more out exactly. there, and we have the only un uh, only sealed <laughs> box left. Andrew Wiggins, that's an interesting photo. The Steph Curry one of one has never been found, and there's some unsealed boxes out. There's some sealed boxes of that out there going for like twenty, thirty grand. I keep thinking. Oh, you never said. Uh, you never said your story about. Oh, Lamella. Um, yeah, yeah. I forgot to remind you. Oh, Zach, Zach Levine. Levine. And then we're gonna get a Anthony Black also on the pink ice. That's not bad. Did you see he Anthony Black took a picture with Grady Dick courtside and trolled everybody? <laughs> hey, maybe maybe that ups his his card. <laughs> yeah, because uh, <laughs> that photo's going around everywhere. They sh I saw the t wait. What's the Lamelo Ball story? <laughs> we're getting out of control. Okay, let me finish yeah. the Steph Curry one. Um, I was thinking like – Wait, you have a Steph Curry Yeah, I was story? telling you the one-of-one one boxes. They go for 20 grand. Oh. You got to think you have a great chance to pull the one-of-one, one, right? Like there's only a couple boxes left. But we don't know if someone has it and just hasn't said anything. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. But who can keep that big of a secret? Or maybe someone has it and they haven't opened it. That, just that's true, house. but you're still down to seven boxes left in the world. You got a one in seven shot at twenty grand for a million dollar How do you know car. Seven boxes. Well, I'm just estimating. Mike. Conley. Hey, there's my guy, Mike Conley. Oh, AI. Is this I, an AI autograph? Would be wild. That's sick. That, AI. that is sick. All right, Lamella. Okay, Ball's it's story. a quick one. We, uh, Allie, All Star Allie was in church with me, and we're singing worship songs. And she looks over to me and she asks a question to me, and I'm like, "What?" And she goes, "What was Lamelo Ball's older brother's name?" And I'm like, "What? Really? In church?" I go, "Lonzo." She goes, "Oh, that's right." I'm like, "What is going on in your head?" Anyways, the point of the story is Allie, my wife, loves sports and uh, is always thinking about random stuff. So anyways, when I saw the on the ball, I was just like, <laughs> that's the funniest story. I didn't know what she could possibly ask me, and she just shocked me by asking me that question. Like what What was the thing that brought that to you? <laughs> exactly. In the middle of church. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Prosper. Not the guy we're looking for. Come on. Another Anthony back. Jalen Green. Didn't he just have like a disgusting dunk? Yes. 
Anthony Black on the in- instant impact. Kings, Kevin Hootier, and our two cards on the back. A lot of base cards here on the back. I thought initially that was going to be two rookies, but I think they're just putting those base cards on the backstage to actually protect the cards in the middle, which I honestly respect. Yeah, I, I heard like I heard that, that that's some strategies. Uh, so we're just going to pull from the back first. Norman Powell, because I don't like ending on two base cards. I like that. Who does? Steven Is Adams. this the last now pack? We got, now we got... No, we got one okay. more after this. Can say, but we are we this this pack is uh is hurting pretty bad right now. I don't think we've pulled anything really great. Okay, this guy, Jackson Davis, T J D. This is the guy that had the big dunk on Wimby. That card's probably through the roof. No. Yeah. Jackson Davis is through the roof because he made one play. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Okay. I'm buying his. I literally texted my bud, who's a Warrior fan, Tim. I said, "What? who's that guy, and how do I buy his rookies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a Tyrese Hey, Maxie. superstar. Silver, Hornets. Oh! oh Brandon Miller on the I silver. Thought it might have been Brandon sick. Miller. All right, let's go. Spurs right here. 76ers rookie. They don't have any good rookies. Philip. Philip. Felipe. I want to say Felipe, but I know that's not it. This is still not a bad card. Nick Smith Jr., it's like a $3 card. Yeah. I guess that is bad. If, if, you're, if you're silver rookies, $3, that's probably not a good thing. Last pack, Sage. Come on. If you guys have made it so far this long through the bro show, we appreciate it. If you like watching us rip basketball, we appreciate it as well. Me and Kelsey do a lot of the football Sage and Allie do a lot of the baseball, so we appreciate all the support you guys show on Dark Horse Sports Cards. If you're still with us, make sure you like the video, subscribe. It's completely free and helps us out a lot. Let's get it this last pack here. Come on. Best pack for last. A little Steph Curry. That's a cool photo. Is that all? Is that his card in all the? Hmm. All right, we get a deep space. Luca, we haven't seen that insert so far. Our silver is going to be Kenneth Lofton Jr., number 128. It's a spur. It's a net. I saw the uh, black and white. Yeah. I got excited for a second. Oh. Jazz, Joy Hoiser, and I forgot to pull the two cards in the back. <laughs> and, and we get... <laughs> That's okay. We get that. All right, so swing and a miss. I think we showed what a good box looks like, and we showed what a bad box looks like. Overall, not that bad. That is prism. That's prism in a nutshell, though. Yeah. I mean, you're not. There's not a lot in there that you're chasing. You're really just chasing the names. Not too much you can pull. I guess you can pull autos out of there. I don't know how many you how many boxes you're gonna have to rip to pull an auto, but we got a couple cool cards. These are our best ones. We got a nice pink ice. This is definitely our best one, Brandon Miller. That card's nice. Um, and then two Brandon Millers, actually. And then uh, a nice emergent silver here on Pods. On the Pods Pods Man. So, um, I don't know. I, I, think, I think these are worth ripping if you see them out in the wild. At least get one box. They are kind of expensive. Just mainly because I think this is one of the cooler looking parallels. The pink ice is such a cool looking card yes so and i like it's it. there's something fun about chasing the wimby with such an expensive pink ice uh i will always if i see this product anywhere yeah. in the wild i will always be buying this one it's like even though there's not a case hit the real you really don't need one when you have just, wimby. just uh uh you know if you you get 10 pink ice per mega box so you have 10 chances to get a Wimby, yeah. which really is like way more expensive than pretty much any case hit in a lot of products. Yeah. So. I saw somebody leave All a right. comment saying we were just Wimby chasing. And I was like, yeah, us in 99.9% .9 of everybody <laughs> opening best. Us in I was like, of course we are. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. What, why would you want any other car? Even, <laughs> even if, even if you were, Let's say even if you were trying to collect cards, right. you would still want the Wimby 
to sell yes. and then be able to buy a whole bunch of the cards you actually want to collect. Uh, I was like, what is this guy even talking? Of course we're Wimby chasing. Yes. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I think like, even if you are, I mean, what, what's, what's the, what's the Spurs biggest rivals? Like who? The Rockets. Because it's in state. Yeah. All right. So let's say you're the biggest Rockets fan. <laughs> you probably still are rooting to pull a Wimby. Yeah. You probably want to. Maybe the so, Lakers. Uh, that's Lakers. A, yeah. Anyways. That's, that's a that's a funny comment. That's a funny comment. <laughs> it is kind of wild though. The Spurs, like they were when I grew up watching them, they were such the non-flashy team. Uh, they had like just a bunch of solid players and that's just how they won a lot. And now they've got the flat. I mean, maybe not the flashiest, but the best player. It's, it's, it's a wild Tim Duncan was very good, but yeah, I don't know. They, it's, it's, it's interesting to see the, the different dynamics as the years go by in, in basketball. Did you hear the story? Tim Duncan almost like went to the heat midway through his career, but uh, no. it was like all done deal. And he asked the owner of the heat if his, kids could ride in the team plane and they said no and then he stayed in san antonio <laughs> so everybody still to this day crushes that owner for not letting the kids on the dang team plane so who would he have been playing with like uh would that have been morning would it have been him in morning I, I i can't connect it exactly but maybe even yeah i don't know exactly the timeline but uh the concept is Mike miller <laughs> everybody hates that owner now or gm or whoever it was for not letting and then the Spurs wouldn't have been as good. All down to the kids on the plane. I was going to say, why don't you just say, yeah, yeah, no problem. Bring the kids and then just like get them to sign and be like, oh. Boy, <laughs> that's one strategy. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.